We're back on the Nittany Game Week. If you watch an Iowa game from 10 years ago and then watch the one from last week, you're bound to see a lot of similarities. They place a premium on execution. We follow a similar formula. Second segment of the show, that's where we go to our experts to break down the opponent in our scouting report. Coach Paterno, Coach Bradley, the Hawkeyes, how are they able to be both dynamic and dull at the same time? Well, it may be dull, but they win. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about it. And, and they are all about techniques and fundamentals. And let's talk about their offense right off the bat, Tom. You know, they get this unbalanced set, talk about the problem, this creates in the zone run game. Well, you can see what happens. Everybody starts to overload to the unbalanced side, and then it, they, they get him going one way, and then a great back with great vision cut back and makes a big play out of it. Yeah, take a look at how this unfolds. You see him coming over. Again, he, they're trying to get horizontal displacement of the, of the defensive line and creates cracks, and then they can cut it up. And, you know, it's, it's tough to deal with. Now, Tom, I know you still have nightmares about the three-level play-action pass from all these years ago. Dallas Clark, all these other tight ends. Talk about what you see oh, here. I'm tired of seeing it. 973. <laughs> it's just my nightmare. But here it is right here. You get the streak. You get the, the seven cut. Here it comes back into the flat. And this running back they have catches balls and does some damage with it. No question. And as you mentioned that, we go to that. And we talk about the matchups with the running backs and the linebackers. And again, that's a tough cover, and this guy's a good route runner. Talk about this. Yeah, that's the thing that's impressive about not only is he lugging the ball, but he is a very excellent route runner. If you watch his breaks and everything, he's very precise what he's doing. And he's in connection with that quarterback, too. They do a good job together, those two guys. Yeah, second leading receiver on the, on the team right now is this running back. And this is a great shot in the end zone there. Uh, talk about the drop back pass game. A lot of crossing routes, so look for those. But... The thing, again, the inside fade on the slot is, is such a problem for everybody. Yeah, that's been a big deal because that bump fade's a tough play. A lot of room back there for the guy to cover. If you're in man, if you're in three deep, there's a lot of things going on there. And it's something that all defensive coaches practice a ton, as you know. You've been a quarterback coach. You like to throw it, too. Yeah, and the great thing is, is it gives that quarterback a lot of room to lay that to the outside. So even if you don't beat them deep, they can get you. So